Hello guys, this is Narvin Reddy. So today we'll talk about Packet Tracer. Now, uh, this video is specially for people who are doing BSc IT third year because they have a, a subject called as Internet Technology in which they have uh, 10 practicals. Uh, this is the practical list you can see. So we have first one it starts with uh, IP addressing. Then somewhere here we have to do from practical number 3 to practical number 10 we have to deal with packet tracer so uh, as we see we have a software here packet tracer so let me test the connection oh, it's weak. Uh, yeah. yeah it's working so we have a software called as packet tracer here now uh, we will start with some basic again uh, i'm not uh, you know we are we are not going for advanced level we are starting with the basic level so we will go for some advanced steps so as you can see we have a simulator here or you can say uh, a software in which we can design a network or you can test a network See, when you design a network on paper, you cannot test it. But if you, if you can design a network on your packet tracer, you can test that network. Now, we have to create some, uh, you know, we have to create some uh, IP addressing or we have to configure routers to work, you know. So, we have some, uh, some devices here. So, you can see we have end devices, we have routers, we have this switch, we have hubs and we have wires so we, we will be working with all this thing for basic parts again this is not an advanced uh, advanced networking so we are going for some basic parts so now so let's let's go for some basic devices so let, let's go for a computer so we have a machines here now you can we have lots of options again uh, depend upon the packet tracer version this option changes so i am using packet tracer version 6 so you can see here I'm using version 6 so this is my this is my option so if you are using version 5 there might be some devices which are not there so you we have extra thing like wireless tablets we have smart devices like your smartphones so let's talk about this computer so let's pick up and drop here so we have this uh, first machine so we have to tick and drop here let's suppose we are working with two machines now if you want to connect these two machines we require a switch here so I, I will even use hub or we can use switch but aspect the practicals we have to use switch now uh, let me just give an IP address as a label it's, not, it's just a label so let's suppose my IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.2 now again we don't use 1.0 because it is a network address we don't use 1.1 because we will be using that IP address for our gateway so the first IP will start with 1.2 again if you are doing with your first practical you might be knowing this so we have uh, we have this machine I, again i want these two machines to be on the same network so i will go for uh, address 192.168.1.3 because if i change this one it will change its network because as you know excuse me <coughs> as you know this is a uh, class c because 192 belongs to class c in which you can only change the last part because we are going for the class full addressing so we can change only the last part so it will be 2 and it will be you can have any number between 2 to 2, 2, two uh, 254 now to connect these two machines we require a switch so let's take a generic switch here so we have a generic switch and we have a generic switch here now if you define if you if you want to connect these two machines so you have to use some connections see now we have multiple options here you can use straight through you can use cross over but as a beginner you, you might be knowing, not knowing this how to connect this to but then we are going for the automatic wire so from connect this from pc to switch now you can see one is green second is orange it means this is connected but switch need to configure itself for this machine so it is orange now after 10 seconds or some time it will it will become green till then we will connect this machine this machine also so now it is connected now you can see it's an orange it will take some time to be green okay so wait for it it's waiting waiting it will take some time yeah you can see now it's green it will now after some time it will also become green so now this is my network right this is my ip address is 192.168.1.2 now you can see a brief summary of this so you have a brief summary in which i have not set the ip address yet i have just assigned the label to assign the ip address we have to get into this machine so when you when you click on this machine you have multiple options now you can see physically you have a machine here 
but we have to configure right we have to create IP address so we have to go to desktop option then we can sell we have seen now we have multiple options again version changes option changes so as we are using version 6 so we have multiple options you can you can have PC wireless uh, you can have web browser but we have to change the configuration so we have to focus on IP configuration now here we have two options we can use DSCP or we can use static so as we are going for static we be uh, as beginners so let's assign the IP address as we have assigned there so its IP address is 192.168.1.2 now subnet mask is by default it will come because class C subnet mask is this now gateway because we are not using a router here so we will not define the gateway now we will see later how gateway works so this machine done now we have to assign to this machine so go to desktop IP configuration and it's 192.168.1.3 now there is a net mask and gateway we'll see later so we have these two machines they are connected now uh, so as you know this is a network so the network address will get a switch so network address it's 182.168.1.0 so this is my network address here so now now I have to test now so the basic configuration is done we have a network here so we have two machines one 1.2 and 1.3 so let's test this so click on your machine go to command prompt to test any network you have to use a command called as pinging so you can use ping and we have 192.168.1.3 so as you know we have IP address 192.168.1.2 from 102 we are pinging to 103 1.3 so we can check it out and yes we are getting the reply it means it's working now so the thing is you can test the connection using command line or you can test the connection using GUI as we are using simulator we have an option here called as simple PDU now we can use this PDU and pick that PDU from and we can drop this packet from this machine to this machine and you can see we have successful so this is a real time output now you want to check you know in uh, this uh, dramatic or simulation mode so you have to go to you have to change your mode from real time to simulation okay now we'll go for new scenarios let's pick up your packet from this machine to this machine now you can you can play with it you know so you have option of capture and forward just click on capture and forward you can see your packet moving from one machine to your switch done you can increase the speed also and you can see from switch to machines again from we are getting the reply so machine to switch and switch to machine now this is how you can create one simple network okay this is one simple network again come back to your when you design you have to come back to real time mode so you have a network here so let's move this network to you know, just we'll get some extra space so yeah now i want one more network so let's 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 create one more network so let me pick up this generic machine from here to here so we have again two machines i need ip addressing again this is a different network so i will assign 182.168.2.2 for this machine for this i will assign it 192.168.2.3 again you can use any ip address but this is what i prefer for study now yeah so now we have to get one more switch so we will pick up this generic switch again and let's drop that switch here and we require wires so go for automatic wires and connect this to devices so something wrong something wrong something wrong something yeah no it's not wrong. there's something wrong with the software so we have a green orange and yeah so it's connected again it will take some time to configure itself till then we'll assign some ips to yeah so let's define a network here so it's 192.168.2.0 because we are dealing with we're dealing with 2 2.3 so it's yeah now we have a network so now we have to configure this machines again if you can see we have a green signal so go ahead so go to your core desktop mode Go to IP configuration, assign 192.168.1. Yeah, it's 2.1. It's 2.2. It's 2.2. Then you have to assign your submit mask and close. 
go back to your plug 3 machine desktop IP configuration it's 192.168.2.3 and we have a submit mask and you have to close so we have done with this also now we have to connect now we have to test this also so again uh, we can use ping or you can use GUI but as you know GUI is more simpler so go to the GUI drop your packet from here from here to here and we have successful so now you have, you have now you know we have connection between those two machines you have connection between two, those two machines now we have two different networks we have a network 192.168.1.0 this one and we have a network 192.168.2.0 this network now we have to connect these two networks and when you when you say we want to connect these two networks we have to use routers again you have you, you will see some routers here so this is your router and multiple options again we will pick up the general router or you can say generic router so drop your router here so now we have two networks and one router now okay, as you can see we have to connect these two uh, networks we, have, we need some connection wires so this is your wire from this switch now, from this switch to this router and you can see now this time it's not orange or it's not green it's red so, again how to solve that red one we will see so we have these two networks we have connected it but they are physically connected not logically now at this time you have to configure your router because see we don't have to configure switch because switch will configure itself as for the network but router we have to configure now see for this network your router your router is your gateway for this network your router is again your gateway so we will assign a label here so this is your gateway so this point this point is your gateway it's 192.168.1.1 this is your gateway and we have this is your gateway this is not 1.1 this will be now as you know your gateway is network plus 1 so network is 2.0 so your gateway will be 1 so now we have to configure this router as per the gateway now to configure you should concentrate the type of the wire now it is FA 0 slash 0 it means it's a fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 here we have you can see we have 1 slash 0 it is fast ethernet 1 slash 0 so you have to click on this router now to configure you have two modes either we can use configure or we can use CLI mode initially we will start with configure which is GUI mode so that you will understand something so uh, let's 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 go for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 because see we have to change interface now focus on this part because when you go with CLI you have to focus on interface so you have to focus on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 in this it will ask you for the IP address now you have to assign an IP address 192.168.1.1 this is your IP address you have to assign a subnet mask and once you have done this you have to say on now when you say on now when you say on Now your router is on. Now, so that's what that's it. We have done with this this wire. So you can see we have a green signal here. Earlier it was red and it is orange because it is now configuring. Switch will always configure itself. So we have done with the, that network. Now if I do the same thing for this line, again you can use either again you can go for GUI or you can use CLI. As we have done this with GUI, we'll test will first test this it's working or not so this is one network this is second network we will check if it is working or not with the help of PDU so pick up your PDU from this machine to router and yes it's successful so that means this machine is able to communicate with router let's check for this this machine to router no because we have we still not configured this thing so to configure this we have to go here and again we can see it is fast 1 slash 0 so again go to this router we can use configuration mode GUI or you can use CLI mode I prefer to go for CLI this time now initially when you when you go for configuration mode you can see something like this you have router and angular bracket 
So first step you have to do is you have to enable your router. So enable. Again, you can use GUI or CLI. CLI, you have, the, you have this command. So first you have to enable. After you are enabling it, then you have to configure router. Con to configure router, we, we can use a command called as configure or we can directly use a shortcut called as conf and terminal terminal conf uh, shortcut is t so you can use configure terminal this command or you can use conf t once you done the configuration you are in configuration mode now now you have to give ip address to your interface which is fast ethernet 1 slash 0 then we will use a command called as int which is which stays interface which interface you have to work with fast ethernet which is fa 1 slash 0 now you are in this interface mode. Now you have to assign an IP address. To assign an IP address, we have to use a command called as IP address. Now you have to give the IP address of this gateway. Now this is your hold on. Yeah. Now this is your gateway. So it is 192.168.2.1. So it's 192.168.2.1. And then you have to assign subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. That's it, you have done with the IP address. Now we have to on. Now if you remember in GI also we have set on. To off your router, you use a command called as shutdown. To on your router, you use a command called as no shutdown. So it's reverse. So no shutdown. So you can either use shutdown or you can directly use a shortcut or a shut. Enter. And that's it. Now you can see automatically your 1 slash 0 is also configured. Okay, you don't have to do work by GUI. You can use CLI also. Now you can see this is configured, this is configured. Okay, now this is going to be configured. We have to wait for some time, approximately 10 seconds. So, to tick 9, 8, 7, 6, wait, wait, wait. 4, 3, 2, 1, yeah. So, we are going from this, we test from this machine to router. And yes, successful. Now our main intention was to connect these two networks. So let's go from this machine to this machine and you can say failed. Now question arises why? Because as you know, this is your gateways, right? This is 1.1, 2 .1, 2.1, this is your gateways. Your machine should know which is your gateway. And you can see we have not assigned the gateway yet. So we have to assign a gateway. So it's 192.168.1.1. Here it is 192.168.1.1 For this machines we have a gateway which is 192.168.2.1 For this machine we have 192.168.2.1 That's it now you can check so from this machine to this machine and again failed now see most of the time it happens because switch will take some time to configure itself so again to do some time pass to wait for some time again with the router it's working it's working from this machine to this machine it's working yes and now delete the scenarios from this machine to this machine it's successful because it will take some time so you have to wait don't get panic Wait. Okay, and this is the part one video of your practical. Now, this is not an exact practical. We are starting with the practical in next video. For that practical, you need some basics. So, this is your basics. In next video, we will see with uh, with three networks and two routers, and we have to connect one more router. This is like example. We'll need one more router here. We need one more router here, and we require one more network here. So, we have to connect these two routers. And how it will work, we will see in next lecture. So I hope you understand something. So post your comments if you have any doubts. And subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much.